mic checked, camera checked, video checked. Hi guys, Eva here at Crunchy Fingers. Today we are outdoors and we are going to shoot some street photography with this tiny old camera, the Voigtlander Vito B. Today I am shooting out alone, not Jimmy. We are in the center of the city called Uppsala. Finally stopped raining to come out and get some light and shoot some street photography. I have here the Voigtlander B2B camera from the 50s, fully mechanical, fully not automatic. I used it for the first time a couple of days ago and because it's so tiny and it's so quiet in the shutter, I thought it would be really nice for street photography. I'm just going to walk around the center. It's after work times. There is a lot of people coming up and down and hopefully we'll get some object separation. This is a black and white film I have in it, the APX400. This camera is fully manual, so I need to read the light with a light meter. The light is pretty even, which is nice. So I'm going to measure, oh, I need to take away the cap. An average lighted shadow right now is at value 12. A highlighted area is a 13, 14. So you see the light is pretty even, shadows and highlights. If I have a, let's say a 12, and I'm gonna shoot a 5.6, tells me 500th of a second. This camera only goes up to one 300th of a second. But then if I put it at F8, for example, then it's 250th of a second. So I'm gonna go with that and then I adjust my focusing distance accordingly. I am doing all this with one hand. I hope you guys appreciate this. Yeah, let's put F8. Look how dexterous I am. And if I focus at here, anything between three meters and infinite should be focused. So I'm gonna go with that for now, unless something else comes around. There's a lot of people with bikes. I hope I can get someone, you know, passing by quickly with a bike. That would be really nice. Let's see. This uh, APX400 is kind of like a low contrast type of um, black and white film. So it's not gonna give me this kind of street black and white photography that you might have in mind, like um, Cartier-Bresson, quite uh, contrasty. Yeah, we're gonna head towards the station. The station is always a place with a lot of people. So that should be nice. I'm not sure what is up there. Maybe we can get a photo with a car when they pass by. What do you think? Ah! I like this place here. Wanna see how it looks? do street photography why you like street photography to me I like it because you know like it can really show up the character of the place that you're photographing and it's a lot of rawness and a lot of like spontaneous type of uh, shots it's also when you go out and street photography you have all these elements and all these lines that um, are very good to create cool compositions so i always say i don't really mind the medium like i can be shooting with a phone or a digital camera or a film but the cool thing is what is the composition in it what are the lines leading to what are the elements doing with each other what are the relationships of the elements in the photo there's a pretty cool stairs over here maybe i can get a shot of them a nice cool shot over here I think there's a lot of lights and shadows which I also like a lot for black and white photography even though this is not a contrasty film I think it can be nice play with the lines here we have this line coming down there's another parallel over there then there's the lights coming in
maybe I can wait until there is a uh, person coming down. Oh, I missed the person. There is a lot more sun in this other side of the station, so I think I can close my aperture even a little bit more. Metering says 12 on the light, 13. Tells me F11 at 2 50th of a second. Uh, pretty much almost everything should be in focus between two and a half meters and infinite. People in their phones, always interesting. Uppsala is actually famous because it's the city of Carl von Linne, Linnaeus was a pretty famous scientist. We owe to Linnaeus that we call all species on Earth with a name and a surname, you know, like Homo sapiens. He worked for a long time to systematize the classification of different species. I am a biologist by training and profession, so in my videos sometimes you might get these kind of off-topic comments. <laughs> I think the light has changed now quite a lot. Pretty uniform here in this kind of narrow street, so I'm gonna read again. It's pretty uniform. 10, 11, yeah, so. 11, F8, 120 feet, F5.6, 250. 5.6, I'm gonna go for that. And these are also pretty cool, these seats, look at it. Aren't they cool? Very nice. There is a kid with a skateboard sitting in this. Maybe I can try to take a picture without him realizing. What do you think? Can I? I am keeping my shutter speed quite fast because since I'm almost not stopping to take in the shots, I hope I don't get any blurriness or camera shake at 2 50th of a second, 300th. Yeah, we'll see. Mmm, kebab. And now the sun was made. This city is only like half an hour by train or 45 minutes by car away from the capital. So I'd much rather live in this smaller city and then go to the Stockholm whenever we need to take photos or go to shops, get some more film. Always support your local film stores because film is not dead and we need to keep them uh, selling film. So I know it's very easy to buy online, but if you have a old guy that still has his shop in your city, I encourage you to go talk to them because they know a lot and buy from them so they can keep their business alive. Especially with these corona times. All businesses are getting so hit. So I hope not a lot of film businesses are going down because of the pandemic. That would be real sad. Let's go by the river. I am going to take the last shot now, I think, and wrap it up. My arm is giving up. Look at this amazing view. Look at that. That's the Uppsala Cathedral, it's really amazing, really big. It's the biggest cathedral in the Nordics. Oh, puppy. There is so much people eating out. Because it's my last shot, I'm kind of like really thinking about it. There are a lot of bikes coming up here, so I'm gonna try to find some sort of like per perpendicular shot, you know that I am just waiting for the bike to pass and try to get it in. Oh, I think this is a nice place for getting a bike shot, hopefully. So I'm gonna try to get a bike passing by with this um, background. I'm gonna read again the light. It's an 11, 5.6, 2 50th of a second. I could go to a four. Almost a 300th of a second. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. It's ready, so I'm ready. It's 
so apparently I wasn't recording anything of what I just said. <laughs> yes, I'm just sitting here um, having an ice cream for all the hard work I did. And mm, this is very tasty. And I just wanted to thank you guys for being here with us, our lovely watchers. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short photo walk around the city center of Uppsala. And I hope that you enjoy seeing how we approach street photography with this tiny 50s, pretty sturdy and metal camera. It's actually very nice feeling when you take it because it's not plasticky and it feels, yeah, heavy and a bit of a tank. I'm pretty tiny. In case you don't know in the scheme of things, I'm a small lady. So this camera is pretty small, as you can see, even for my hands is, yeah, small. It's nice to use. Thank you so much for watching. And please drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below, um, what is your journey with street photography? Do you enjoy street photography? Have you done street photography? How do you approach street photography? I would love to see some, some of your work as well. Hope to see you back in the next video. And uh, please stay safe. See you back soon. Bye. Thank you.